वेलकम टू माई चैनल दिस इज करियर मास्टर मोहम्मद मुदसर आलम आई एम रिसीविंग रेगुलर कमेंट रेगुलर क्वालिट रेगुलर क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ साउथ बिहार हॉस्टल अलॉटमेंट प्रोसेस ऑलरेडी आई हैव गिवन द आंसर ऑफ योर कमेंट्स एज वेल एज आई हैव गिवन द आंसर थ्रू द लाइव सेशन ऑन माई ऑल्टरनेट चैनल यूट्यूब डॉट कॉम स्लैश एम डी मुदसर आलम चैनल बट द क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग द हॉस्टल अलॉटमेंट प्रोसेस इज आज टाइम एंड अगेन दिस इज एन एक्सक्लूसिव वीडियो रिगार्डिंग द हॉस्टल अलॉटमेंट प्रोसेस ऑफ सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ साउथ बिहार सो वॉच द वीडियो केयरफुल टिल एंड लेट मी स्टार्ट हाउ द हॉस्टल अलॉटमेंट इज डन इन सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ साउथ बिहार द यूनिवर्सिटी विल नॉट इशू अ पब्लिक नोटिस ऑन द वेबसाइट रिगार्डिंग द हॉस्टल अलॉटमेंट प्रोसेस इफ यू हैव सिलेक्टेड द हॉस्टल ऑप्शन एट द टाइम ऑफ सबमिशन रजिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ फॉर्म ऑफ सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ साउथ बिहार द सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ साउथ बिहार हॉस्टल अलॉटमेंट कमिटी विल कंसिडर दैट ऑप्शन If you have given yes, then it will be considered uh, for further process. Further process is that the hostel is given as per the CUAT marks as well as the category. There are different number of seats in different categories. First, I will I am informing you that there are two hostels as of now in Central University of South Bihar. They are functioning right now. One is boys hostel, one is girls hostel. The capacity in boys hostel is around six hundred beds. Similarly, in girls hostel, the capacity is around 300 beds. So this is the capacity. One more thing that the old student, the previous students who are already residing in hostel, the rooms are already blocked for them by them. Like the you know, UG courses, like the PG courses and PhD courses. So I hope that around 300 or 400 seats may be vacant for the new students. The new students will get the seats from those remaining seats. The formula considered is according to the total number of seats in the particular course divided by the category, the total number of seats in the particular category. Then the hostel is allowed as per the CUAT score. Whatever is your marks according to that, the merit list is made and the hostel is allowed. This merit list, this hostel allotment list is not issued on the website. The hostel allotment committee makes a list. and it inform the university authority to send the payment link to the concerned student if you are eligible for hostel the students who are residing in gaya panchanpur tekari are usually not given the hostel because you are usually the houses their your own house is is at this location the outside students are given preference for hostel you will get the link on your email id for payment of the hostel fee the hostel fee for one semester 6 month is 9000 at the rate of 1500 rupees per month per bed the mess fee is separate you have to pay 2500 for mess separately so total cost for residing as well as food in hostel is 4000 rupees once you are getting the payment link you have to deposit the fee within the given time you can also check the hostel allotment payment link by login into your summer portal uh, id you log up summer portal page there you will <coughs> get all the details there as well so this is the process regarding the hostel allotment uh, of central university of south bihar so i hope after watching this video all your doubts are clear one more thing i let me remind you that the university is closed from 22nd of october to 1st of november between this period i hope you will not get any update about hostel allotment but you keep on visiting your email um, I, you can see your email you can check your email maybe you get a, a link for payment of hostel allotment fee so that's all in this video i hope after watching this video all your doubts regarding hostel allotment process is over even if you are having confusion or doubt you keep on visiting this channel for latest information thanks a lot all the best for your career all the best for hostel allotment in central university of south bihar